Good afternoon everybody, Carl Biker here. Just heading home from the office and I've just been having some fun. Just had another call from a PPI company. Now, if you don't know what PPI is, I don't know if it's a worldwide problem or not, but PPI was Payment Protection Insurance and the idea was that you took out a loan, uh, some credit, or mortgage, that kind of thing, took some money and some of the banks decided they would charge you an insurance on it without telling you. Or they would tell you about the insurance and get you to sign up for it but they would missell it, telling you that you needed it when actually it was useless to you. So, for example, insurance against losing your job to somebody who's self-employed. So, if they lose the job it basically means that they've decided to close up their own business, they're a one-man band or whatever it might be, and they're not eligible for insurance anyway. So there's this whole big mis-selling thing that went on. And it all came to light and people started suing. And now there's a whole set of people, I don't know whether you'd call them lawyers or solicitors or what, or just chances, who um, help you claim back your PPI payments. Uh, in a lot of cases they, they've been ripping people off so they, they say there's no fees but if you win back your money they take a big chunk of it so it's no win no fee but if you win oh boy is there a fee but anyway they keep ringing up people so they're cold calling now I've just got a brand new phone through work I've had it a couple of days and it makes me very suspicious that the phone company itself is selling my details because at the minute it's on the wrong number. It's, I've had it such a short amount of time we're waiting for the old number to be transferred across. So I've not given that number out to anybody. Nobody should know I've got that number. The only people who know I've got that number, as far as I'm aware, are my company, which definitely won't have sold my details, and the phone company that's provided the new phone contract. I've given out the number to no one because in a week the number will be dead and we'll be back on our, our old numbers again. It's just taken a bit longer than it should. So I think the phone company has immediately sent us out new phones, given us new numbers and sold the number because I've already had several phone calls from people saying, oh, do you want to claim back your PPI insurance? Have you been involved in an accident? Or you have been involved in an accident and we've, we've got it on your records that you're in a non-fault accident, even though I've never been in an accident. Uh, and I haven't got PPI insurance to clear back or anything like that. So I thought I'd have a bit of fun with them because I've got to the point where I'm annoyed with it. Say a couple of days, I've already had probably five calls. I usually get about one a day. So we popped them on speaker today and the whole team had a bit of a chuckle at their expense. So I thought I'd let you in on what was said. Unfortunately, I didn't record it. I wish I had recorded it because, well, it made us all laugh. But well, they started off with, uh, good day sir, it's a foreign accent but I won't do it. So it'll probably come out sounding racist. Um, but good day sir, and they had my name, they knew my name. So they said, uh, is that, and my name, which I'm not going to say, but you probably know it anyway. If you've seen me Facebook and all that kind of stuff. Um, I said, well, we, uh, we've got it on record that you have... Uh, PPI, you've paid PPI insurance that you shouldn't have done and um, you know the banks missold you this PPI insurance and we can help you get it back and it, you're not, you've not got any link to us at all, you know you're not uh, locked in, you can change your mind if you don't like it uh, but these banks have, have you know, been ripping you off to which I said you, oh those bastards <laughs> they didn't pick up on that one at all they just carried on with the script and they talked for about two or three minutes and then said uh, so all we need to know we're, we're going to send you the paperwork you just need to sign the paperwork and then we'll get your PPI back for you and you'll have loads of money back and won't that be wonderful 
and uh, all you need to do is sign the paperwork. It'll be pre-filled in with all your details. You don't even need to fill it in. Just sign it and date it. All will be well in the world. And all we need to know is your postcode. What's your postcode? And you think, well, if, if this was real and you knew who I was, you'd know my postcode. So, I opened with L1 4 5, 5, 5. I'm sorry, sir. I didn't quite catch that. What's your postcode? Oh, I'm sorry, it's L1 4 5, 5, 5. Oh, I still didn't get you there, sir. Oh. L1 Yes, four, five, five. And then they, uh, they went off on, on talking about something else and then came back and said, so we just need that postcode. You're not locked in. It's all safe. It's all good. It won't cost you anything. There's no fees. Uh, unless, unless we win your PPI back for you. Um, what's your postcode? So, oh, it's number 23. She goes, no, no, postcode. Postcode first, please. Postcode first. So, all right, okay. And by that time, because I was on speaker, one of the guys on my team had come across with a bit of paper for me to read out. So we did L0, 5ER. And they started talking again. And then I think it clicked that we just said loser to them, basically. I think it clicked. So I think I get extra points in the game. Because for the first time ever, the PPI nuisance call hung upon me. <laughs> Extra points, bonus points for me. <laughs> anyway, I'm intrigued because I get these all the time and I like to have fun with them. So, has anybody else had fun with these people? Got any good tips for uh, how to deal with them? I think you should annoy them for as long as possible because the more you annoy them, the less they are annoying other people. What do you think? Let me know in them their comments. Anyway, thank you for watching everyone, ride safe, and I'll talk to you all again soon.